Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the mug mockup in Photopea. First, go to photopea.com in any web browser, p h o t o p e a.com. I'm using Google Chrome just because it worked a little faster than Safari. So, if you're having trouble with your web browser, you might want to check out Google Chrome. Once Photopea loads, just double click open from computer and find the mockup. Then it's going to load for a few seconds. And once it does, we'll be doing all our work in this handy layers panel here. If you don't see the layers panel, go to Window Layers to bring it up. Now to insert your design, first you want to click on this little arrow in the mug layer group to expand it. And then we'll click the eye icon on in the design dash layer to make sure that's on. And then we'll double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash layer. And that's going to open up a smart object where we can copy and paste the design. To do that, first we'll go to File, Open, and find your design. And then when that loads, we'll go to Select All, then Edit, Copy, and click back on the Smart Object tab, and go to Edit, Paste. You might need to resize that. So to do that, hold down the shift key to keep it proportional and then just click and drag on any one of the four corners. I'm dragging out to make it bigger. You can also drag in to make it smaller. And then once that's size, just go to File, Save Smart Object to save the smart object. It's going to work on updating that and let us know Smart Object updated. And then we can click the X to close this uh, Smart Object tab and we can close the original design. And we'll see that it added the design to the mug just like that for us. You can also change the color of the rim and the handle. So we'll click the eye icons in the color layers to turn them on and then just double click um, the thumbnail icon in the color layers. So we'll double click this one in the color dash inside layer. And that's gonna open up the color picker for us. Sometimes it opens up the properties panel instead. So if you see the properties panel, make sure to select the layers tab and then double click the swatch under color fill to bring up the color picker. Once the color picker is up, just click anywhere in the rainbow slider here to choose the color. And then click in this box to change the lightness and darkness of that color. You can also just type in the values if you know them. We're going to copy and paste this color onto the handle too. So I'm just going to click and drag to select that number. And then I'm going to press Command C to copy it. It would be Control C if you were on a PC. And then I'm going to double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash handle layer. And then I'm just going to click and drag to select the color there. And then I'm going to press Command V to paste the color. It would be Control V on a PC. If uh, your design is especially dark or bold and you feel like you need a little more shading on the mug, you can click the eye icon in the more shading layer to turn that on. And then you can click on the more shading layer group and click the down arrow next to opacity and drag the slider to the right to make the shadows more intense or to the left to make them a little more subtle. You can also change the shadows underneath the mug by first clicking on this arrow here to expand the layer group and then clicking on either shadow and then clicking the down arrow next to opacity again. You can drag the slider to the right to make the shadow 
darker or to the left to make it softer. Then when you're good with how everything looks, you just want to save it. If you're going to use this as a thumbnail like on Etsy, you want to save a version as a JPEG. So you would just go to File, Export as JPEG, and that would uh, save it in your Downloads folder for you. You could also go to File, Save as PSD, and uh, save a copy of a layered PSD with your design so you have it on file. And please let me know if you have any questions by messaging me at melissabmockups.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you and have a great evening.